Hey guys, it's Kelly and today I am going to be showing you how I created this super easy floral nail art look. This is part of my Color Me Monthly series, which I will be posting every other Monday and I will be using no nail art tools for all of these looks. So everything that you see are just with tools that you can use at home, including this manicure right here. So let's get into it. For this manicure, I'm going to be using my Color Me Monthly base coat, Sorcerer's Violet, which is in fact Periwinkle, Mango Habanero, Revelry, Janice, and Renewal. I'm also going to be using my Color Me Monthly top coat. So I'm just going to start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat. Once that's dry, I'm going to be applying some white nail polish as a base, and you can tell I'm getting a little sloppy here but that just goes to show you that you don't need to have a steady hand to create nail art. So I'm just taking a small makeup brush and some pure nail polish remover acetone. And I'm just gonna wipe it off. So once that's dry, I'm taking the back of a paintbrush and I'm just gonna create like an irregular dot shape with the blue. And then I'm gonna follow that up using a different brush with my orange. And then once those are dry, just because I don't want them to run, I'm going to do the same thing with my red polish. So those are going to be the flowers. That's why we don't want them to be perfectly circular. This design works well looking imperfect. So that's what I'm going for here. Now I'm just going to take a toothpick and the dark gray color, and I'm going to start to outline them, but I don't want it to be a full perfect outline. I want there to be some spaces in between, and then I want it to sort of swirl off in the middle. This is just like an abstract flower shape. Like I said, the cool thing about this manicure is that it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I think it looks a little bit better when it's imperfect, so you don't have to have a steady hand. You don't have to have a crazy amount of technical skill with painting with a toothpick. It's just about having fun. It's easy to do on both hands, so just go with it. Each nail can be slightly different too, which is really fun. After I was done outlining the roses, I felt like I just wanted another pop of color. So I went in with the lighter green and my toothpick again, and I drew some little abstract green blobs, which are supposed to represent leaves. You can really do as many of these as you want, but I just do one on each side, and I think that just sort of grounds the design really well. And once you're sure that everything is completely dry, you can add a generous coat of top coat. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up for more No Tools Nail Art tutorials, and please make sure you subscribe to see more. Bye!